Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the books we're going to be colouring in in October because as we know October is Halloween month. So all the books we're going to be colouring in are Halloween or horror related and I'm going to show you every book I hope to colour in except for one. Now the reason we are missing one is because the Colour in Heaven Halloween issue doesn't come out until the 2nd of October and you're going to be seeing this either on the 29th or 30th of September depending on how quickly I can get it uh, uh, or edited well not edited but you know rendered into the correct format because I've got a couple of others to do as well so I will be picking that one up next week it comes out on Wednesday I'm looking forward to that I am just trying to get this straight because I'm having real trouble getting my camera straight at the moment never mind that's a bit better so I'm going to show you the books I've coloured in already that I'm hoping to do a bit more in and then I'm going to show you all the empty ones which I am determined to at least colour one page in because one of my goals is to try and complete a page in every single book I've got and I'm failing miserably at it. So enough waffling, on with the show. So the first one is the Bram Stoker uh, Dracula graphic novel. I've had this for a while and I have started it. I've done a couple of bits in it like started colouring in Dracula there. I've done the first page and I've started the second page and I want to finish this now. I'm not planning on going any further unless I've got time but I want to finish this page at some point in October. There's no rush, it's a long month. So there's that one. I like this book, don't do enough in it. I do have last year's Colour in Heaven um, Halloween special and I did one last year which is this Molly Harrison. I haven't chosen what I'm going to do in each one other than the Dracula book and one of the others just simply because I haven't had a chance to go through them. I will do that soon. Um, but yeah, so there's this one. So oh yeah, October. We'll call it Horrortober. Horrortober. Because it's all going to be horror related. But uh, So we've got that one. There's some lovely pictures in here. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. And I've left one book over there, I think. I'll have to go and get it. I won't be a second. I might do one of these Fedorables by um, Selena Fedek. Excuse me, that's the floor moving. Right, let me just get in the other book I forgot I had. And then talking of Selena Fennec, I do have her gothic dark fantasy book. Now while this isn't strictly Halloween, there are some pictures of witches and skulls and things like that in it. So that's, that's quite a Halloween-y one, so we might do that one. Again, I've done one in there, which is that one. So we might do something in that one. Then the one I forgot is Creative Haven's uh, Day of the Dead. So I've done one in here. I'm not going to show you it because I only finished it recently and it'll be in my wrap up because I think I might have enough for a wrap up this month. Yay! So there's that one. Now, uh, that uh, does not belong in there because that is not a horror book. We're on to the two vampires by Jade Summer book. So Perfect for Halloween, Vampires Volume 1. Again, I've only done one in these books and I've got Vampires Volume 2. Now, I don't have the grayscale scale version. I only have the line art because I'm not a big fan of grayscale. I just can't get on with it. So I hope to do something in those because I really like these books. So those are the ones I've actually coloured in. So the ones I haven't coloured in, you recently saw some of them in a haul. And some of them I've had upstairs for a long time. So, of course, there's the Horror Hotel, which I have decided what picture I'm going to do, if I can find it. Um, I should have marked it. And that's this one of the pool. And I'm going to have a blood pool. So it's going to be blood in the pool rather than water. So there's that one. And we've got, we're back to Jade Summer now. This one, the next two I've had for a long time, they were two of the very first Jade Summer books I bought and I haven't done anything in them and that's Haunted House. So yeah, I mean, some of these, oh, creepy clown, could be quite detailed. So I might do the skull or I might just, I'm thinking I might do the cre creepy graveyard. So we've got that one to work in. Then we've got Everyday Horror by Jade Summer. This is a really thin one. It's one of the thinner ones. Still two of everything, but... And this one is quite detailed as well. 
so I haven't decided I might have a look through them later and decide what to do I mean obviously I've done I've decided a couple excuse me I've got a terrible indigestion then of course I picked up the newest book which is the Jade Summer oh we're out of focus what's going on Wait for it to, ooh, that was quite spooky. The Jade Summer Nightmare Horror Colouring Book, which we've just picked up. Again, I don't know. I might do the spider coming out the book. I don't know yet. Or the man in the... Oh, there's just too much to choose from. So there's that one. A nice simple one. We're going to be starting our colouring chat on, on the weekend on this one, which is the Halloween colouring book, because these are nice and simple to colour. There's not a lot of hard working so we can have a chat without having I love that spider I think I might do that one's nice so yeah we might do this one for colour and chat on the weekend I haven't decided like I said I'm going to go through and pick some pages out of uh, each book and then we'll uh, work from it but uh, it, well, this one hopefully won't take long if I did it like it did on there it would but colour how I feel and sometimes I want a straight colour and sometimes I want to do blend in so we've got the Halloween colouring book and then we've got Night Magic by Selena Fennec. This is another new one I got in that you saw in a recent haul. Again, this is Gothic and Halloween. So witches and stuff. I need to go through it and decide what to do. I don't know yet. We might not colour in, in, in all of these. We're going to try. Um, but yeah. I love Selena Fennec. I mean, there's loads of her books I haven't got that I must pick up, including the Fedorables. Maybe that one. That's quite nice. Let Darkness Fall. Ooh, freaky. Sisters of the Night. Pumpkin Princess. Castle of the Wolf. So, they, I mean, her art is so beautiful. So, And, of course, another one which we know which one we're doing is The Beauty of Horror 2, Alan Robert. Um, Guliana's Crepatorium. So, we know we're doing if I can find it, uh, along with John over at the Bibbofile Colourist, The Shining Twins. I haven't decided how I'm going to do this yet, because I do want to start also doing my budget supplies, so I do want to start using the the very Smith stuff I bought to show you, and I do want to start doing some watercolour, and that can be a bit difficult for me. I'm not used to using watercolour pencils and things like that, and ink tents. I like the ink tents. Just because it, I mean, normally if it's an evening, I sit on the sofa and I colour. But if I'm obviously filming, I sit at the table. And if I'm doing something like watercolours or ink tones, I have to sit at the table because of having water around. But those are all the books for Horatoba. There's a nice stack there, apart from obviously the one we haven't got yet, which we're waiting to be released. So, which book are you most looking forward to seeing me colour in? Which one do you think I should use for colour and chat? Or colour and catch up? Which one do you think I should use to test my new pencils in? Um, obviously, I'm, I'm going on holiday for part of October. I'm not going to tell you when. Uh, but, because uh, there will be videos posted while I'm away. Because I'm going to schedule them. Because I'm a clever girl. That way, you're not going to know when I'm away. But. There will be lots of videos when I come back because I will be vlogging while I'm out there as well. So I will be taking a, a book on holiday. Which book should I be taking on holiday with me? I mean, I'm thinking the new Colour in Heaven one or maybe the old Colour in Heaven one. Um, just uh, give me a few ideas down in the comments below. Let me know what you think, what you want to see. Which one do we want for Colour and Catch Up this weekend? Let me know. I'll try and get this video up really quickly. I'll try and get this up straight away. Um, I will see you all soon. So if you've liked this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe if you're not a subscriber i do appreciate every single one of you that subscribes and hit the notification bell so you know when a new video is posted and don't forget to let me know what one you want to see for color and catch up this weekend or the following weekend and so on and i will try and do that for you and i will see you all soon for horror although september wrap-up coming soon Bye, guys.